What's up, guys? Dave Nader, one, two, and two. And uh, Kaiju cards got announced. Woo! Oh, man, they're actually really good. Like, the Cosmo stuff was good, but the Kaiju stuff is great. So let's get into it. The first Kaiju card I want to talk about was actually released a little bit before with the rest of the Cosmos, but I wanted to wait till the monsters came out so we could actually talk about it. Anyway, what the spell is, a continuous spell, Kaiju Secret Files, that basically it lets you uh, put a counter on this card every time a Kaiju is summoned from the grave or your hand. So when you're just doing regular Kaiju stuff, it gets counters, it gets a max of five. So it is another place where you can get counters from for all your Kaiju effects, and if you send it to the graveyard with uh, three counters on it, you can search a Kaiju Spell or Trap, which does not include Waterfront because boo, that's why. But you can get Slumber, which is the one you're probably going to be grabbing because that card's really, really good. However, it's like second effect, the one we actually really care about is Woot. Uh, once per turn, you can pop one Kaiju on the field and replace it with a Kaiju from your deck of any name as long as it's not the one you popped. And it doesn't specify a battle position, which is really important. So if you Slumber, you're probably going to give your opponent the next card I'm talking about and give yourself anything you want slam over that monster and then you can pop that monster and then give yourself gamma cell in defense mode and just like gg woot <laughs> so like yeah i mean and you probably have waterfront you probably have this it's got a couple of counters on it Ooh, gamma cell negates for all days that's really useful it basically fixes a lot of the problems with the deck people are playing you senjus and gradles and and a bunch of spell tech and everything just to get rid of the kaijus that you give your opponent because you're giving your opponent a big beat stick that is a problem it doesn't matter if degoron can't use his effect during your opponent's turn so you basically give him a big dead 3000 attack power beat stick it's still a 3000 attack power beat stick and can be you know without a big hand or enough advantage it's a little pain in the butt to get rid of that so this lets you kind of fix your board board and kind of gets over some of the speed bumps that kaijus were having but anyway next up i'm gonna have to get the cell phone out because this card's got the craziest name ever super anti kaiju war machine mecha de goron Blah. anyway mecha de goron is a level eight light machine with the attack and 2100 no 2000 defense sorry uh, basically he's a little bit kind of the odd one out because he's the only kaiju that you can't tribute an opponent's monster to give to them However, if your opponent does have a kaiju, you can slap this down a la every other kaiju. So he's like a half kaiju. Anyway, but what we care about is what his specific effect is. And that is actually kind of interesting. For the cost of two counters, you can take a kaiju from your hand or graveyard and equip it to him as a equip spell. And he gets the attack of the equipped monster. It's his once per turn, but there is no limit. So you can just keep kind of boop, 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 every turn getting stronger. If this game is so fast, you will never get more than two stuck to him. But <laughs> anyway... That's kind of cool, I guess. It gives you something to pop, maybe, for getting more counters, and it lets you recycle things, and I think uh, what Ryan's point was probably the best thing about this card is it will force them to fix the relinquished bug with Kaijus, because this thing acts the same way <laughs> on YGO Pro, so woot. Uh, however, the next card is the one we're actually going to be talking about, because when you play Slumber, I think you're going to give your opponent Mecha de Goron because it'll have zero attack. And I think you're going to give yourself this thing because this thing is incredible. And this thing is Thunder King, the Lightning Strike Kaiju. Whew. Whoa! Lightning Strike Kaiju is huge. Let's go over Thunder King. He's a level 9 Light Thunder with 3300 attack. He's huge! And uh, 2100 defense. But who cares? You're not playing this thing in defense mode anyway. Basically, like every, he's like every other kaiju, so you can tribute from the, uh, the other side of the field to give him, and if they got a kaiju, you can slap it on your side of the field, who cares, we don't care about that, all kaijus do that. Woot, what we care about is for three counters, this guy can prevent your opponent from activating card effects for the rest of their turn. He's like a full turn Armadis. Whoa! He's not a quick effect, so if you give it to your opponent, you don't have to worry about them doing that to you, but you will never give this to your opponent, because why would you ever do that? This thing is... Oh, this thing is so good. It can just, they, they can't respond to anything. And here's here's the kicker and what I like. Um, this thing can make up to three attacks on monsters per battle phase. If your opponent has a couple of monsters on their side of the field, bam, bam, bam. This thing has 3,300 attack. That is huge. This card's phenomenal. I mean, you're at least getting the 3,300 in when you crash over uh, Mecha if you did Slumber. But if you can, you know, give your opponent some other stupid crap, doesn't matter what it is, boom, you're gonna win. <laughs> Woot, I can't 
wait to play this card. This thing is great. This is exactly the kind of thing that Kaiju's actually needed. Because if you're going to have only one monster in the field at any given time, because because by their own restriction, then he better be really powerful. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of the new Kaiju's. I think, I think Thunder King is great. But uh, I might be stupid. He might be totally, he might be totally bad. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below. And remember, guys, if you don't troll the meta, who will? I'll see you guys next time. Looks like Wicked Witch, or uh, Good Witch and Farm Girl killed one of the new cards. And she's like, oh, it's my mom. No. So it's, it's kind of cool. It's got a really cool armor.